I think it's entirely possible that Death Ward might protect us here. Uh, so let's do such things. Um, My skills are getting rusty. Yay. Alright. I will see. And since we know it's in here now, we can just straight up say screw it, let's just get the summons out there now. I shall end this suffering. Don't yeah, well, waste their time on that stuff. To attack from range and start whittling their numbers down. But that one guard was able to take me out. So that should show you how tough these guys can really be. This will hurt! I get you dead. That was work, man. That was good work. Liza. Strike Come here and do your one. thing. Proto. You can probably get in here and do some way. sneak attack love, right? Oh, no sneak attack on these guys. Finish okay, breaking. that just happened. Wow. Gonna be a jerk like that, huh? Alright. Um, well, first things first. I'm gonna clearly need to buff up my weapon before going into combat, because I was just dumb that it didn't. Okay. Marking strike back on. Uh, do I have my shield spell on still? I do, but it's about to fall off. Eh... Oh, let's at least get the sh uh, blur on. Matter of fact, we never get to use haste, so here you go, team. Christian, we have a very cool Grave Knight. I wonder if he will do something good out here. Oof. Oh. hit me for something. Bewildering injury. Disorienting injury. Oh, you prick. Um, can you do this? Go on. Go on. Screw you, man. I just wrecked his shit. Oof. Oof. Oh, that was sexy. Step away. Back in. I grad try to kill death. that guy off. No strike I, mean, again, I don't care if the Grave Knight dies, but we may need to summon even more uh, minions on the battlefield to slow this mess down. That was not where I wanted you to go, Ekin. Not remotely. What I wanted you to do, you bastard. Because these things can take out guys with like a touch of their finger. We're going to kind of keep our distance. Proto, on the other hand, she can have some fun. Five foot starter step this way. She has unlimited cantrip use, apparently. Take damage, bastard. Do it again. Ah, uh, you took three damage. Blinding sickness, plague storm. Oof. Who got hit with that? Was that me? I think it got me. Throwing injury, bewildering injury. No, don't look like it. Panicked. Oh, tried it on Proto Lich. Ah, good for you. You tried to hurt the undead with diseases. Dick shit. Christian, get in here and want you to fire off a damage undead. Not a lot, but 12 and 6, man. We'll take it. Ooh, and your little buddy's doing work. Jubilos and Arthropel. Kill that boy. thing. Alright, I think we 
I'll need a dog pile on the rabbit. Heck, got panicked. So did Eliza. Apparently so did the doggos. Oh, hell. Proto. Uh, why don't you summon skeletons over here? To help me out. And you can come over here. Tell out of my no way! Come on, bro. You the last. Ha! Primitives. That's all I got. This will hurt. Dead. Uh, what can you do from there, Proto? Not a whole lot. But, do that thing. Hey, at least we're getting sneaked there. Not much. Still cutting it in half. We will take it. Kill. That ain't gonna do you shit, sunshine. You might as well stop wasting your time. Here comes the grave knight. I don't think Ogbo can even get in there. Jubilash, you can shoot him up there, right? Yeah, Alright, everybody move over here. Save. Press L. Just make all his effects go away. There's our shining helmet. Again, a one that's a plus two to the DC check. And again, looks like we're missing something again. See the hallway? I don't think it matters though, because I don't think there's anything there. And again, we already got our quest item, so who cares? I'm there. So. Oh, see, there it is, though. So it did show up. We just didn't get the ding noise. So, again, we are going to go rest. Um, we are going to go sell. And we'll check the time. Uh, because uh, we had a day, less than a day to be down here. I want to say it's like the third hour of the day when we got down here, like 3.30 3, uh, 3 in the morning, something like that. So, we can rest as long as it takes only 8 hours. We're fine for resting two separate times. This will be our first. And that's good news for us because that means we can blow a big hole through all the bad guys on the next floor, the, the fourth floor for us. Um, get all the way up to the room where the boss is at. As long as we have all the gear and items and stuff, you'll rest again if we feel like we need it. And then go kick the boss's ass, and we've still got plenty of time to come back out and check, get our DC check. So that's good news. All right. Um, wow, man. I can't believe I missed that one stupid book sitting on the damn pedestal. That sucks. They hit that one well. Just like plain sight. Just, here, here's the item you need. You didn't want to click that? Really? Put your wares, sell your stuff that and all that should be mundane items nothing of any real importance uh, and then again we just picked up a holy gnome hooked hammer plus three which we will never use so I'll sell that for eight grand uh, I got the leather armor plus four and while just to point out that this is not the worst armor ever I mean obviously a nice solid plus four but notice that for max dexterity of someone that has the dexterity of a plus six bonus 
wearing this armor. That's a 12 armor plus the base 10. There, that's, that's a 22. That's better than plate mail right now. It's not much better than it, but it is definitely better than plate mail. So, again, it's a solid option. Keeps your dexterity bonus. Again, as long as you're not above 6, you're doing well. I would obviously shoot for someone that actually has a dex of 6 bonus to give that to. But, eh. And again, our clear vision will keep that, but our shiny helmet, that's just a plus two to the inside. Like I said, it just doesn't have the protection from illusion stuff. So we'll do that. And I don't think we need to sell anything else. We're doing good on monies. Always a concern for me. We managed to get our items. Now, before we take a knee here, first we want to save. Second, we want to check our clock. Good. And then Something does Tristan have anything that he can do? He's already used it up. All right. My um, skills are getting do I need to change anyone's spells? That's my next real problem here. I switched this to auto hit moves or AOEs like the fireball spell. I think we're good there. Jubilos, he's doing his thing. Hell, he's even got overlay and flight he can cast on himself. Okay, so actually that's something I can do for him right now. Uh, do oops. you require my assistance? Do overlay and flight on yourself, buddy. And the reason I'm doing that because again, if you look at the buff, several hours. So even if we take the knee, which we're about to do, he won't need to recast that on himself anytime soon. Took eight hours. Check your clock just to prove it to yourself. We got 11, so again, we have plenty of time to go back downstairs, kill this next floor. Again, find that hidden item, item item number four, and then beat the boss, and then we're done with the Tanabra steps again until it opens back up. And that'll be awesome. So we're going to have to open the map on this one. Looks like I forgot to clear, clear the floor out. What's going on, guys? Oh, and this does happen, by the way. A lot of people are like, oh, my game's broken. It's stuck. It will go through. You just have to kind of get to the area and force them through it. There's something about the grate that stops them sometimes from coming through. So, same with, like, when you, when you get a, a hidden door. You're like, I can't get through. Like, you, you're literally stuck here. You've clicked it. It disappeared, and you're trying to get through this spot. It won't do it, it won't do it, it won't do it. Like, what the heck, well, hell. It will, you just have to kind of just keep I'm clicking there. until it gets through. And again, we did pick up all this stuff, right? Yes. So, religion check. The deed is done. And that just gave us a... Bestow Grace of Champion. Oh, wow. Immunity to disease, immunity to fear. For five minutes. And our charisma bonus... Uh, says that we have to be lawful good to cast it, but I don't think that's going to be true. Let's see, I got a charisma plus two. Am I getting my plus two? Yep. She has a native charisma. She's getting a penalty. <laughs> that would suck. She's got a good charisma. She's getting a plus three from all that. Yes, she is. Look at that. And an undead creature, too. So she's just getting, like, retarded returns here. Uh, he's not charismatic at all. He is, though. He's getting a solid buff. Look at all that. Jubilos, he's, uh, he's okay. But a plus one is a plus one. We'll take it. Cool, man. I do what I must. So, can't believe I missed that book yesterday. Wow, that was just lame sauce. But again, to my credit, like I said, uh, I had to use my detect magic or detect secret doors to get that even open. And I think I screwed that up because I had this room here and like that room there. You can clearly see nothing in it. And I'm like, well, what the hell? And then I got this one open. Nothing in it, too, and I'm like, okay, something weird's going on. That's when I finally realized I was having a, a game-breaking glitch. Inimosi Travisi. Inimosi Travisi. 
Okay, I want to put um, angel wings on him. Air walk on Christian. Resist the asset for the team. And see invis for the team. What? A girl Christian. told me my eyes were not from Bless for us. I said that the blessing of Seren Ray would light up her soul. She seemed disappointed. Okay, now, just as a reminder, uh, Tristan has a spell that we haven't been using, uh, Magical Vestment. Now, the downside of this is, and notice that the bonus is only a maximal up to plus 5, and that's only at level 20, which he clearly is not, so it's probably like a plus 3, plus 4. The reason we're not using it's that is, act. I believe... With our armor from our bracers of armor, we don't get anything. But we should actually test that. So let's right actually here, test it friend. on uh, Dora. Notice we have a shield option and a uh, armor option. No one's wearing a shield, so you have to use the armor one. It may stack. I do think it did. So we still see the buff is pretty good. Nice. And he is getting armor and armor enhancement. So it is a different category. Oh, cool. So Tristan can use those. To better our team. That's awesome. Uh, might as well buff up some more for me. Blur on you. Full strength. Notice I still have my wings on me. So again, they're still there. So I just won't have to recast that buff on me. But I can give this one to her. And again, oh hell, I left my damn toggle on. No one By the way, in shut my her way. toggle off. Or I messed that up. I will see uh, this she spirit. can do Shield of Faith. For all three of us. Well, two of us. Remember, she doesn't need it because of her robe. That's right. Uh, oh, hell, let's do a... Quiet. I'm thinking. Death of the Lord. two characters. Never use it, might as well just give him freedom of movement so he can't get trapped on anything. Because that would straight up suck. And that's a solid, long lasting buff. You have two hours and change. She. She spell. Go around herself. He's gonna grab. Give her longer stride. And Bark's gonna throw himself as well. Pass him off for Doggo. Hurting him both himself. As you can see, we already have one of the quivers of ultrasound activated. Look like at dead room. I'm positive oh, I found something. Take that back. Found something. Got it. All right. In due time. We found treasure. We just walk right through a grate somehow, magically. Cool. We take free stuff. Anything else here worth merit? Doesn't look like it. Just like a random thing to put at the end of the damn dungeon. Here's a trap. Alright, quick save. Check your map, and again, you can clearly see the hidden room that we don't need to get into. Because there's just nothing in there. Um... I don't know why they do that. I don't. I don't honestly remember that, quite frankly, because I've done this before. I got all the way down to Robogug, or the spawn of Robogug, even, and that guy's a jackass. Let me tell you, that fight's gonna be. We're gonna have to be tier twenty to go and kick his ass. Uh, maybe I just need to look online, see what other people are doing to beat him, because he's got like retarded number of attacks, scaring our people, poisoning our people, diseasing our people, just straight up screwing us over. Um, how are we doing on weight? Now oh, we're fine. Price. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. All right. Now, again, before we get into this one, here's our map. Twelfth floor. Looking for you, buddy. Ah, look it. Can't miss it because the quest item's in the room right before the boss. It looks like everything's a straight path, too. Well, that's unusual. But I'm going to be perfectly okay with that. So let's actually do this thing. We're buffed up. 
there's only a, one or two more buffs that I could probably even put on my team that might even add to our badassness, and I'm not even worried about that. Like prayer, I'll probably activate that. Uh, probably could use some of those um, displacement potions that we have. But yeah, I like to save that stuff for like the boss fight if we have to. We oh, found some manticores, poisonous primal manticores, no less. That usually means mad, bad thing. Um, since I'm not trying to save spells, because again, I know I can take one more knee and not have to worry about it, let's actually just strip damage these fools. You should have run! Liza. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping they would do. Okay, Tristan, uh, since this is a surprise round, just stutter step way in here and that cool spells that we gave you. The auto hit ones. Nice. Up oh, bow. Let's assume this guy can't get on your face since he had the primals, uh, the summon direwolves on him already. Let's hope that that's true. Jubala, step in here. Can you reach him with your bombs? You can, but I don't want you to do multiples. Just throw one. And that gives me information. Not only do we doing damage to him, but I actually give me a chance to see what his deal is. He's got concealment, 20%. So, um, yeah, we'll leave that off for now. Yeah, okay, and on the other hand, he doesn't have problems with concealment. So he should be able to penetrate this, I think. It's fine. Cannot hide from me. Yeah, he's not getting the 20% uh, penalty. So that works out nice. Uh, can you charge? Again. Yeah. You got a sneak attack in. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, Dora. I need to circumvent some things here just to get you in the position. Oh, we just found a, the box that was sitting right there. Good job. We well, have Liza over here. These guys are going to clearly be in the way, so might as well just unload on the little fire bomb on his feet. Poof! Take some damage, you jackass. Ooh, look at that. Well, that wasn't very nice at all. Uh, While well, I could use a spell to hurt him. I think we're probably better off just giving uh, Ekin the buff. So. Oakbow might be able to get around here to have some fun, but I don't think it's going to attack in this round. You lost. Uh, I want you to delay your turn past Ekin, because we may need you, bro, to just straight up uh, murder this damn thing. No way to run. Left yourself exposed. But then again, maybe not. Okay, well we got all kinds of boxes in here like that. Give me treasure. Lots and lots of spells and treasure. Okay, let's skin this guy. In due time. Come on, cool. Hydra. I aim true. Nice shot, man. Eliza. Why don't you just five foot stutter step that way and get him with a little fire? Oof. Doing work, doing work. Alright, doggos. So, have you delay past everybody else? I want you to get some sneak attack weapon in here. But I don't want to be the first person that could possibly mess with him. And I did not do as much damage as I thought I would. Oh, looks like my buff is off. Uh, Juba lost. Shoot him. Fine use of my talents. Yeah, you can. 
Octo. Uh, Christian. Yeah, I don't think we need to waste much more uh, effect on this guy. Um, let's do that trick again, see if this works with a three instead of what being one. Uh, I need to do a five foot stutter step that way. And can you reach him? Looks like you can. That is so sexy. Oh, that just made my day. Two attacks. And all you have to do is have a lesser quick and minimum magic rod. Oh, that's so weird. All right, um, Ekin. Finish like him off. You get. Thank you, bro. I'm off. Let's be with his eyes, because that's how we do things in the dungeon world. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Get that thing. Want all that? Yes, please. I'm there. Well, whatever's in here, thank you. And that, oops, from right there I thought that was a new area. Like, wow, it's showing us quite a bit from that other room. Alright, so here's our door. There's something here. Sure is. It's called a trap. I do what I must. Let's finish them quick. Oh, oh, I remember doing this one solo. This one was a pain in the ass. Uh, so we have a lot of not only uh, these we Omer owl bears, but some of them have the displacement on them. Some of them have uh, mirror image on them, and it's just straight up suck. So, uh, good ways to do this is to start to damage them with AOE moves. Go, go. Pedal a little bit, let them come down this nice tight corridor. Cannot hide from me. Oh, very nice, I can. Liza. You come over here so the doggos can get through for one. And let's do an auto hit move on that I'll take it. Oh, Bo, your big fat butt's in the way. Oh, Proto, I'm going to have you do your little cantrip trick. That was funny, though, because it took away one of his uh, mirror images. And then we got him on that one. Oh, this is a weirdly large hallway. Christian, come right to there. And we have a fireball spell waiting as well. Not bad. Wow, there's a little more up there still. So, alright. They'll come this way. Wanted to get hungry enough, they'll walk over here. Uh, Jubilaz, we don't need bombs for this one, I don't think. Why don't you just uh, unload on this jackass? One. Nice shot. Take out another one. That's not bad, man. Oh, Bo, I'm gonna have you uh, end your turn, buddy. All right, now they're all up in my face. And now's an opportunity for me to do stuff like. Well, you know what? No, there's an opportunity for me to do stuff like five foot stutter step. And how about a little acid breath and a nice little cone or a beam? Beam could work. Strike. I wouldn't let me swing at him. Boo. That's okay. Nowhere to run. See how much fun this is with people that can't get multiple attacks off. Strike as one. Proto, 
You know what you can do? That is so sensible. Oh man. That just made my day. Alright, Tristan, you definitely need to not be in that mess. Um, I'm going here. Uh, we got, was it three over here still? Down to two. Can't really tell. Uh, but you do have a move with say we can have some fun with. Do apparently. You've lost not properly. They are relatives. Nicely done, sir. Oak bow. I don't think you're gonna get up in there, but you can go over to this side. Help out a little. Ooh. That was not cool. Is that a crit? Could have been. Yeah. Not confirmed. Thank God. Dora. Don't this hold one. back. Whoa. Dora got mad. <laughs> Again. So it's your turn to let all these things move towards us. Uh, Eliza. Go ahead. Nice. Let the doggos have some fun. Uh, Proto, you come over here so you can shoot him with your little beam. Twice. Nice. Tristan, since I did take a tiniest little bit of damage, I am a little concerned. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we barely dented these bastards. They have not like three or four of them, there's still like five in the goddamn room. This is a nasty ass room. Um, can you get through there, Uffbo? Oh, no. So don't bother clocking the door then. That guy, you know what to do. Kill that thing. Look at him shooting through walls. You're amazing. I don't believe it, but whatever. Door can come over here. And we got that dragon's breath stuff. We also got a nice fireball spell that we never get to use with the team's away. Now we don't have to worry about that. Eliza, you also need to come over here so I can see you. We need you to protect everybody. Oof, damage. Doggo will slow him down a little. Proto will come out here. And do that. Turn my rod back on. That's awesome. Tristan. I'm going to come over here. Oh, well, why I made that noise, I knew they were going to kill it. It wasn't going to take, like, one hit, honestly. Um, uh, you lost, you can straight up just shoot. A fine use of my talents. Oh, bow. Oh. Ekin. I grant you death. Solid hit. All right. So again, we're right here. Get the hurricane strike back on. Uh, let's do a little electric attack on this guy. Strike my masterpiece. Get in that guy's face. Uh, Eliza, five foot step close enough? I don't think it is. Do not so hold back. Get there, do that thing. She was able to scare it at least. Let's hear you cry. You step the hell back, and since you still have your swift movement, you can probably still do this. You can. <laughs> I love glitches. All right, uh, Tristan, your turn. Your turn. What can you do? 
Mm, I'll hit this fool. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's a bad roll. You needed a five or better on that one? You weren't enough, huh? Do you lost just that two? With all these extra attacks around with our ranged weapons, we're really lucky because we can actually whittle these things down. This was not remotely planned. I had totally forgotten that these guys were here and we had that problem. So it's you nice to stumble upon the, a lucky benefit of having multiple swings in the combat round. So like I said, I have beaten this particular floor solo. And that should show you how incredibly rough uh, this being solo hurt. can be. Because he or she was not pimped out quite like we are now. I'm sure I was probably like really close to 20 though by this point, if not 20. So there was that, but it was still rough. In due time. Okay, well we know there's not any hidden walls. I don't think there is. Um, that doesn't mean there's not hidden treasure. My skills are absolute. I'm there. Again, so a quick reminder. We're just looking for a room. The next room is going to be where we have our quest uh, item. And then the, the last boss fight. So sweet, about perfect three hour video. Just about. Depends on how long it's going to take us to beat that boss fight. Oh! Suffering. Wow, you're just like right on our face. Greater Owl Bear like Treant. Oof. Alrighty. Uh, Liza. We shall overcome. Nice. Dora, you need to kill this thing. Proto, can you get in there and get your Ginsu chef on? Die! Out of my nope. way! That sucks. Alright, uh, then you can't get... You did an attack of opportunity on me while I did that, too. That was cheap. But I was able to sneak attack him twice, so... Again, I'm cool with that. Oh, wow, just slapped my ass to the other side of the room. Well, okay, then. Nowhere to run. There's two of them here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that sucks. Alright, Tristan, this is why we need you, buddy. Because you're going to do this little skeleton army right on top of the Step the hell away. Oh wow, there's even a poisonous primal hydra in there. Ooh, this must have been a rough ass fight for me when I was doing this shit solo. Uh, Juba lost. Now I think is the time for bombs, son. Ha! Primitives. Yeah. Got one of them down. I think he didn't he kill any. He wounded him pretty bad. Go ahead and poison the skeletons all you want, sunshine. I don't think you're going to make it. Oh, looks like one of those things died. Attack! Very nice. Very nice. Run them through. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Do it again. Oh, that was good. And it isn't dead yet. It's dead now. <laughs> Heck yeah, can you I shoot this thing for me? Hands bro. Bo, Bo, you're just gonna end your turn here. Skeleton's gonna handle that mess. Uh, I need to heal up Dora though. What spells do I never use? Uh, I'm not gonna use that delay. Poison can We're already protected from poison, so here you go. Ooh, 31. Love you, Trish you. Oh, knockdown. Look at that. 
see that come from a hydra anytime soon. Uh, Jubilos, can you get over here and the bombing things, shoot things like Will that. they ever learn? We'll take it. Make some room here. Strike as one. Do not hold back. Doors turn. Ooh, you just took 61 damage, you bastard. And remember, if he fails his uh, reflex saving throw, which he did, he'll take half that damage next round, so 30 more damage coming his way. That's pretty cool. Let's hear you cry. Oh, come on with that shit now. What the hell? You needed a seven. Man, she sucks. All right, uh, Ekin. You know what to do. Good, you dead. Slow them down, and that'll give us a chance to get the Jubilos in the position to crossbow shoot the shit out of this thing. For instance, get him, dude. Boom, hit back. Alright, now Eliza can get in here and have some fun. Oh, he's even poisoned. He got sick <laughs> from the poison from the damn snake. That's hilarious. That's what you get for having friends. All right, uh, we we'll rotate that. We go over here. You should have run. Strike. Solid hit. Proto. Die. Sneak attack. I'll take it. Uh, five foot stutter step. Get closer to this. Cannot thing. hide from me. Bullseye. No, you cannot. Oof. All the damage. Come on, I can. <laughs> Yeah, that was a little weird. It fell down but didn't die. Oh, this is not one of those things that's immune to everything except for a specific type, is it? Cold iron or fire? Oh, okay, that's easy enough. Tristan, come over here. Oof. It ain't making friends, that's for sure. And while, yes, I could finish it with a firebomb, there's no point. We got cantrips that can kill this damn thing. Well, not cantrips, but a fire rune from her will be enough to polish it off. Ah, loser. Nice. Good job, team. Nowhere to run. I'm off. I believe I found something. He believes he found something. Done. I do what I must. That was easy. Got it. Is that the last item? Ranger's diary, the last page. All right. Now, here's the last boss fight before we get into this mess. Click save and again prove to yourself that you have all four items. So again, if you just do newest to oldest, you can find them easily. So I'm going to drop them on the floor and then pick them right back up. And I know that sounds dumb, but if you do it that way, then they will be the last four items in your list so you can see them side by side by side. You and was it this one. I think that's everything. Okay. Pick that up. Alright, now. Inventory. There we go. So we have 
Rivals Unsent Letter, Ranger's Diary Last Page, Ranger's Diary in the Beast Year. And I want to say it was in this particular order that we picked these items up. So let's actually read these, shall we? My dearest sister, do you remember Tiltarin? who these three years ago I had the misfortune of meeting along the pass over the tours of Lebanese. He'd gotten himself into a jam, run straight into a band of thieves that waylaid travelers on mountain roads. His bombs were his only weapon, and he couldn't use them in the snowy mountains without bringing avalanche down on his head. By chance, I was climbing up a pass from the other side, fleeing a pack of werewolves, and then there was this horrible blizzard. It all ended in quite a mess. Ha <laughs> Me and the elf stuffed for three days in that cramped cave, afraid to peek out. Bandits and werewolves stalked the blizzard outside, the occasional sharp cry rang out, and then silence fell again. When we finally escaped that stone hole, we were sick enough of each other to say goodbye through gritted teeth and part of ways, silently hoping that we'd never meet again. Well, that hope's been dashed. We managed to run into each other in the middle of some backwater in the stolen lands, only to discover that we were on our way to the same place. Some day I will tell you more of our quest and the manner of our meeting, but know that it began with you again, and in turn we discovered... What a coincidence that we've been having the same dream sent to us by a dragon. Sound familiar? As you know, everything happens more quickly in parties of adventurers living from one dangerous expedition to the next. It was like that between me and Till 2. On the fifth day of our journey, his blank face began to seem sweet, and the jingle jangle of his alchemist vials grew, uh, grew soothing. Today is the 37th evening since we were united, and we were camping inside the cave where the dragon called us. Today, Till gave me a special seashell, a protective charm. He said it will help me survive in the most dangerous places and that it remembers the last words said at the end of the day. You can hear them when you hold the seashell to your ear. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. He gave me this gift and went out on patrol. It's his turn today. At first, I didn't think to listen what the shell had to say, and when I did, marry me. I know you'll call me a careless fool, sister dear, but I know what my answer will be. It's a good thing that Zellerin, the dragon who called us here, is also a priest, though he follows a strange god. You can't have a wedding without a boring speech and a priest ritual, right? That's cute. Next one was the bestiary of the Tanaver's Depths, Wicked Chanter, the boss that we're getting ready to fight. If you look close enough, you can see the dirty prints of thin fingers all around the margins of this paper, as if someone fiddled with it curiously, turning it this way and that. Note, this article of the bestiary is the least definitive of all and cries out for development. It has been recorded as told by a few unlucky souls who survived their encounter with the wicked, enchant uh, wicked chanter. I was going to say enchanter. The chanter is the newest of the known great nightmares. There are no testaments of meeting her from the distant centuries as has been confirmed by the dragon Zellerin himself. We are almost certain that previously the chanter lived in an isolated part of the dungeon and the passage leading from her section of the caves to the main labyrinth had been blocked by a rubble for a long time. Then someone, presumably another party of heroes summoned by Zellerin, cleared the rubble, unwittingly setting the monster free. He's starting to notice a pattern with Zellerin here. He's being a jackass. We still don't know what the Chanter looks like, but we know well the sound. Her appearance is always announced by singing, vague echoes from deep in the tunnels. They forfeit their lives who follow the sound, hearing in it uh, the cry of a friend. It is safe to say that the Chanter is always accompanied by a large pack of various monsters who would not, under natural circumstances, gather together or act in concert. They protect the chanter, hunt for her, and attack with vicious force any who enter her, their territory. But at times, they also suddenly spare their victims without any apparent system or logic. The motives of their unpredictable mistress are entirely unknown. She may simply be mad, like many other creatures of the Tanapra Steps. It is hard to say whether singing is her way of luring her victims to their doom, or a means by which the chanter controls her pack of monsters. We may have a a uh, chance to find out in the nearest future. Tonight, our expedition's scout scouts heard her tender voice in a distant corridor, singing a children's lullaby. Oh, that's just gross. The chanter is near. An ancient drawing decorates the back of the page, a drop of blood smeared in the shape of a crooked flower and a sun. That's weird. Alright, whatever. Uh, next one. Uh, I think that's this one here, right? The... No, that's the last page. I need the Ranger's Diary first. There we go. Ranger's Diary. I've got bad news for the elf. The elf, remember this was her betrothed not too long ago. I'll have to tell him that his wife was still alive when he blocked me. What? Uh, I'm confused. Alright, hold on a second. I've got bad news for the elf. I'll have to tell him that his wife was still alive when he blocked that passage and fled the dungeon. What? 
Our expedition is the third one he gathered to recover his wife's remains from the caves. The first two didn't even reach the rubble. We were the lucky ones. We've been wandering these halls and passages o uh, for over a month. We fell back, and when we encountered groups of monsters that were simply too powerful to face, then crept back to pick them off one by one or look for ways around them. Finally, we made it. I don't know how the elf even found this place. So much time has passed. A few dozen years, I believe. What the hell? But he managed it. He cried out for his kineticist and nodded to the pile of boulders blocking the passage. Clear the path, he said, then stepped aside and turned his back. I suppose he was remembering the monsters dragging his wife into the darkness as he crawled away and blew the passage with his last remaining bomb. Once they'd opened a small hole in the rubble, I crawled in to see what was on the other side as I am the party scout. When I reached the other side, I knew right away that something was wrong. Someone had clearly tried to clear the rubble from the other side. I kept exploring and found signs of an old battle. There were scorch marks on the rocks from alchemical bombs, and the walls were scarred with sword strikes. And then I found it, an abandoned camp with makeshift tools where whoever had tried to clear the rubble once lived. After exploring the camp and collecting a few things, I've become almost certain that this was the elf's friend. I'm telling you, it's a curse to be a scout. You take the greatest risks, and you're most often the one who delivers bad news to the party. Shame on you, dragon. You might have warned me about this, or maybe you didn't know. The elf seemed to take the news calmly. You can't tell whether he's devastated. He just He's just pale and silent, scarcely says a word, but his black eyes flare from time to time. I call him Grandpa, though the elf looks younger than me. Okay. He pays me back by calling me Red. Well, at least he talks to me sometimes. We, he hardly acknowledges the rest of the party. I have a feeling that he's decided to find his wife's bones and then just lie down and die there beside her. Oh, man. He's, he paid us up front, so it shouldn't bother me, I suppose, should it? We've done clearing the rubble, and we're making our way forward again. I found a second camp. I think the one withdrew here once she realized that she was never going to be able to clear the rubble. This place is situated beside an underground lake, and it's much more comfortable. There's a hearth made of stone, rough shells, a sleeping nook made to keep away the cold that creeps in from the water. The cave walls are covered with mosaics made of pebbles. The woman made all sorts of things, flowers and figures of animals, the sun and the moon. I looked at it all and didn't know how I'd ever bring the elf here. Everything here suggested that she survived and never gave up. She was waiting and waiting for a long time at that, but the camp was abandoned a very long time. I found many footprints of monsters running through it, and something else which looked very much like, no, I should banish the thought from my mind. When I returned to the others, I heard the scariest sound that one can imagine in these dungeons, a soft, sweet song echoing down the tunnel. I couldn't make out any words. At that distance, I ran glad of my escape. I will tell them I found an empty camp. But we should avoid that place. It's far too dangerous. We don't want to encounter the wicked chanter, do we? No, we don't. Even the dragon warned us what a terrible monster it was. And if we st will stay away, well away from the underground lake, the elf will never have to see the mosaic on the wall. Oh, man, that's just depressing. Last page. This is going to be worse. Grandpa, I pleaded, leave me. He looked at me and suddenly shook his head. It was a long time coming. I'd gone out to scout as usual, spotted a handful of monsters, quietly turned to head back, only to find a second pack had crept up on me from behind as I was watching the first. And then things started happening very quickly. I scurried blind into a side tunnel I'd never explored. They followed me down. I scamper somewhere else and run right back into them. I spin on my heels and bolt for my life, but they get me in the leg, so I'm limping. By the time I hear the song, it was way too late. I had nowhere to turn. I saw her, and she saw me. It was a large cave, well lit by local standards. She stood in the middle and sang, and monsters of all types lay at her feet. Claws, jaws, fangs, stingers. So many that it seemed like one huge beast made of everything that kills. And she was its heart, the wicked chanter. She is not very wicked, if you listen closely to what she is singing. But then it grew very quiet, and she walked right at me. I press my back to the wall, and I'm thinking, this is it. And she comes up to me, tilts her head, and sniffs me. There's nothing living in her big black eyes except the, for something mean and wild. How could she grow up in pitch black darkness with the beast and become anything more? She looked at me and, and me at her, and I say, what are you looking at? Never seen a redhead, and I'm thinking to myself that I might have one quick shot, but then that'll be it. They'll all attack and bite and slice and tear me to ribbons, a pool of gore at her feet. 
she reached out and touched my hair and then she turned around and walked away all the monsters with her found a, I found a little nook crawled inside and passed out knowing that if I ever woke up it would be when something started eating me but no I opened my eyes and I saw him the elf he'd come looking for me when the others refused the scoundrels he shouldn't have paid them up front I'd lost so much blood I thought I'd never make it back up I kept telling the elf to leave me but he wouldn't budge then I reminded him about his wife's bones that he wanted so bad to recover. I told him, if you try to save me, you'll die, and you won't get what you came here for. That was when he finally spoke. You're a fool tenderfoot. You're a fool tenderfoot, Red. And I'm a fool, too. Then he sat right beside me and looked at me with those same black eyes. I've come here over and over, gotten two parties wiped out just to find Rivel's bones. I felt like I'd abandoned her in her moment of need. I know her pendant is still here somewhere. It calls out to me and led me here. But do you know what? It was all for nothing. And all these people died for nothing. I dragged them to their doom just to drown out my own conscience. And it was only when you went missing. Only when I realized I might take this guilt to my grave. But I'll drag that boy alive from the darkness before I drag out some old bones. Even if they are the bones of my beloved. Oh, we switch authors here. Oh, he's still talking. Yeah. As he was saying all this, his face lightened up a little for the first time I had ever seen. It was like he'd found something for himself, something he could call new. And all I could think of was her, her wild black eyes, and I knew I could never tell him now. I'll throw away this book when he's not looking, and I'll never say a word about the song she sang in the cradle I found at the camp by the lake. This is his kid. Oh, dude, this is fucked up. Wow, bro. So the... The Chanter is apparently their child, uh, born in the area. God knows what happened to Mom. Probably died during delivery. How the kid survived, who the hell knows. But Jesus, man, that's messed up, dude. Oh, we got to go kill his kid now. Aw, oh, man. This story sucks, but it's good. All right, so we are buffed up. Uh... We got a quick save. Let's just test it. Find out what we got. Way. Ferocious Hodag. Smiling on like Treant. We got all kinds of things coming over here to kick our ass. Oh, good lord. That's a shambling mount. Is that a pony? Is that a pony on fire? It's a fire pony and a giant slug. Jesus Christ. Me. Okay. Um, um. I'm going to. Sense by the army. Step back. In fact, I'm gonna step way back. He can, he can reach the door. As long as he can reach the door, I'm fine. I'm turn that That's another kitty. Uh, well, we're definitely summoning these things here. We need distance. Good lord, look at all the monsters. Man, I can't remember how I beat this thing solo. Must have been a super. Bitch of a flight, that's for damn sure. Uh, oak bow, you can come over here, bro. Just give us some space. Yeah, he's just having fun. Uh, Proto, uh, you need a five foot starter step back. And. Why don't you throw a grease spell down right there? Okay. I can't see it. Right here. There we go. Give us some breathing. That's her. Overwhelming presence. Oof. It's gonna be rough, guys. Uh, come over here. We got Jiva lost, so maybe this will make the difference. I mean, it really is weird. Like, having that one guy knocks them on their ass and it's guaranteed damage. Go ahead and slide them all you want, buddy boy. Dora, you got fireballs and stuff, right? I'm gonna use them all over the yeah, Boo! Hmm. I can move up here. Let's do that. And let's do a little, uh. Let's do a little slow spell. Seeming friendly. Looks like I got a few of them. What the hell, man? That's another separate room, no less. Jeebus criminy. Look at this mess, guys. We got a Poison Hydra, Primal Manticore, a Greater Primal Albert. That's almost the size of the one that we fought in the capital. 
summoned dire wolf. Summoned dire wolf. Is that ours? Oh, did she enchant it? Oh, the cheese in the picture. Uh, uh, giant slug. Shan poisonous shaman mound. Uh, whatever the hell that was. That must have been one of our doggos.